You know that moment when you spin the bean-boozled wheel, pop a jelly bean into your mouth, and pray to every deity you know that it's peach and not barf? Yeah, that moment is the definition of edible gambling. But have you ever stopped to think about how they make a jelly bean taste exactly like stinky socks, rotten eggs, or canned dog food? Like, who's out there thinking, you know what the world needs? A candy that tastes like toothpaste and despair. Well, buckle up, because the science behind these disgustingly accurate flavors is way weirder and more fascinating than you'd ever expect. Let's chew on the truth about Bean Boozled right here on History of Food. For the uninitiated, or the lucky ones who've avoided it, Bean Boozled is a line of jelly beans created by Jelly Belly, the same company famous for making hundreds of gourmet jelly bean flavors. But Bean Boozled isn't about deliciousness, it's about chaos. Each box pairs identical-looking jelly beans with wildly different flavors. One might taste like buttered popcorn, while its evil twin tastes like rotten egg. There's strawberry banana smoothie and dead fish, toasted marshmallow and stink bug. It's like Russian roulette for your taste buds. The concept launched in 2007, and it became an instant viral hit, mostly because people loved watching their friends suffer. Seriously, there are entire YouTube channels dedicated to Bean Boozled reaction videos, and they're hilarious. But behind all that gagging and screaming is a surprising amount of food science. So how does a candy taste like something gross? And not just vaguely unpleasant, but spot-on disgusting. It all comes down to flavor molecules, the chemical compounds responsible for smell and taste. Every food whether it's a fresh strawberry or a moldy sock, has a unique chemical signature. Scientists use a technique called gas chromatography mass spectrometry, or GCMS, to break down and analyze the volatile compounds that make up those smells. Once they know the chemical fingerprint, flavor chemists can recreate it using food-safe ingredients. Yes, you read that right. They're not actually putting rotten eggs or spoiled milk into candy. They're recreating the essence of those smells with synthetic or natural compounds that mimic them. And in the world of flavor science, the grosser the goal, the more precise the chemistry has to be. Take rotten egg flavor, for example. That unmistakable stench originates from a group of sulfur-containing compounds known as thiols. Just a tiny amount is enough to make your nose wrinkle. Scientists identify those compounds and replicate them in edible form, often by combining trace amounts of natural extracts and synthetic flavor molecules. Vomit flavor. That's thanks to butyric acid, the same compound that gives rancid butter, Parmesan cheese, and yes, actual vomit its distinct aroma. Canned dog food often involves a mix of meaty flavors and metallic notes, all food safe but deeply unpleasant when you're expecting candy. And stinky socks? That's a fun one. It's usually a mix of short-chain fatty acids and cheesy compounds similar to those found in Limburger cheese. So if you've ever thought a jelly bean tastes like sweaty gym clothes, congratulations, your tongue is very accurate. The whole point of Bean Boozled is the surprise factor. So Jelly Belly makes sure the gross flavors and their delicious counterparts look identical. That means matching colors, textures, and even patterns on the jelly beans so you can't tell them apart. That's actually trickier than it sounds. It's not just about coating them in the same dye. Different flavors sometimes interact with ingredients differently. Flavor scientists and candy makers work together to ensure that the beans are visually indistinguishable while still tasting opposite. It's the ultimate candy prank. You literally cannot know whether you're about to bite into juicy pear or booger until it's too late. Now here's where things get truly wild. Someone has to taste all these flavors before they go to market. Yes, flavor testers exist. And yes, their job is both the best and worst thing ever. Flavor development teams sample and refine each bean boozled flavor over multiple rounds to make sure it hits the right level of disgusting without crossing the line into inedible. It's a delicate balance, too subtle and it's not funny, 
too intense and people will actually throw up. Some testers even say they train for the job by familiarizing themselves with real-world smells. Think spoiled milk, gym socks, or damp compost. This is one career you don't want to brag about at parties. You might wonder why anyone would willingly eat something designed to taste awful. But Bean Boozled isn't really about flavor. It's about experience. It's the thrill of uncertainty, the fun of watching your friends' faces contort in horror, the absurdity of eating something so gross on purpose. Psychologists call this benign masochism, the enjoyment we get from safe but uncomfortable experiences like riding roller coasters, watching horror movies, or eating spicy food. Bean Boozled is Candy's version of that. It's the edible equivalent of a haunted house. You know it's going to be awful, but you do it anyway. Bean Boozled might seem like a modern prank, but humans have always been fascinated by weird and disgusting flavors. Ancient Romans drank fermented fish sauce, medieval Europeans loved pungent cheeses, and in the 20th century, novelty candy became a whole industry. From sour sprays to lollipops with real bugs inside. Bean Boozled just took it to the next level, not by using bizarre ingredients, but by recreating familiar grossness with precision science. And that turned it from a niche candy into a pop culture phenomenon. Bean Boozled actually has its roots in Harry Potter. Jelly Belly created Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans in the early 2000s to tie in with the movies, with flavors like Earwax and Earthworm. They were such a hit that Jelly Belly decided to launch a standalone version, one not tied to any franchise, and Bean Boozled was born. Here's the ironic twist. The same scientific techniques used to make jelly beans taste like skunk spray are the ones used to make them taste like pina colada or buttered popcorn. The only difference is which molecules the flavor chemists choose to replicate. In fact, every artificial flavor you've ever tasted, from strawberry soda to vanilla frosting, is created using the same basic process. Analyze the chemical signature of a flavor, then rebuild it with food-safe compounds. Bean Boozled is just the chaotic prankster cousin of that science. So how do they make Bean Boozled taste so disturbingly accurate? through chemistry, creativity, and a whole lot of brave taste testers. It's the result of scientists turning disgusting smells into edible pranks and somehow making that idea into a global candy empire. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.